My name is Barry Matthews. I'm a lecturer in paramedic practice and pre-hospital care. I work in the Manchester campus of Edgehill University. I work within the Allied Health Professionals Department and the paramedic team. This ambulance sit within the Manchester campus is based on the Mercedes Sprinter van that the Northwest Ambulance Service used. It even uses the same cupboards and livery and we've taken these from the Northwest Ambulance Service Mercedes Sprinter ambulances. We used the 360 cam to take the images because we wanted the student to get a full picture of what we could offer, to feel like they're immersed in the environment like they would be if they came on an open day, so they can f take a full tour of the equipment, which you probably couldn't do with a, a single image. Using the photosphere uh, rendering of a 360 degree camera gave the opportunity to walk around the room with a, with a phone or use a mouse to navigate the areas and really explore what we can offer. The way of controlling the 360 degree camera using a phone, the 360 degree camera itself creates a, a small, low powered Wi-Fi network. We use the three second timer function on the camera and so I ended up pushing the button and running into hiding places. There's pictures of me within the ambulance, hidden behind the door, um, behind the reception desk. And these are the ones on the Facebook page and they seem to have hidden me quite well, so it seems to have worked. The 360 degree images have been received quite well. The feedback so far is quite good and how well they um, they show off the equipment and they, they show prospective students and it, it's even some of the comments are showing that the prospective students are sharing their future um, place of study. So it's becoming increasingly important to advertise, have social media presence and to show off the facilities that we have St. James is a fairly modern facility. It was only built in 2016, late to 2016. So a lot of the equipment is new. Um, and so having this, this virtual reality uh, type environment, uh, it shows off this building and all the equipment we have and the environment that the students get to work in. The software included in these cameras, um, is, it was quite usable. And I think the software available means that I could probably do this on my own. I could take the camera out, sit in an environment for a few hours, record the environment for simulation and process it myself. One project we're looking at at the moment within the team is the use of virtual reality and augmented reality. So we're looking at creating a 3D environment using um, a full immersive environment where the student might have to interact with areas. Uh, that's more in a, a full virtual environment suite. Something we're considering as well is looking at using 360 environment pictures and having um, augmented reality type interactable objects. So you could use it on an iPad and explore a hazardous environment. We'd have the camera on the side of a motorway in a slow lane or we'd have it in a nightclub or in some cases down in the sewer. Um, or one of the most challenging environments I've ever worked in is the middle of nowhere in the Peak District. Having it in an environment like this in a fixed place for a couple of hours to record just a continuous stream of footage so we can use it in the simulation environment without interruptions to try and immerse the student as much as possible. I think that for us is more important. The whole immersion in the environment. Um, paramedics sometimes work in such challenging environments, they can be distracting and we want to try and get this across to prioritise your patient but also be aware of your surroundings and you don't work in an environment you can control. This point we find quite useful for our students. Our students need to be distracted. They're going to experience a lot of distractions when they're working. Um, not just traffic but standard bystanders and um, patients' families and so we want our students to be distracted so they know what it's going to be like working in such a dynamic environment. They can take this into account on a dynamic operational risk assessment that they need to complete to keep themselves safe. And we're going to try and recreate this simulation and recreate this environment in a safe, safe place for them, a safe place to practice.